What up, y'all? All right, I did my fried plantains. Uh, so I'm gonna check this out. I wanna show you something. Right here. Where's that? Right there, right there. Isn't that a beautiful couple? Yeah, that's my beautiful wife. Right there. Good, 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 good. Love you. Anyways, um, made some fried plantains, like, and decided to wear my, my Raider hat for this one. Cause uh, I tasted a little bit earlier and uh, um, Paco, Andrea, we had you guys over for um, Ropa Vieja. And I meant to do this with that food because, oh my goodness, it goes good with it. But I messed it up. Too much pressure. Um, but this time, my, my, uh, my fried plantain is pretty fried. It's blackened. It's kind of like fried plantain al carbón. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got to put a little Mexican flair in, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Mexicans eat fried plantain, especially when you get towards the Yucatan and, and areas over there. Um, but I, I didn't grow up with it. Like I said, uh, I, uh, I ate this for the very first time in La Casa de los Muñoz. My, excuse my Spanish, because my Spanish is probably all jacked up. Um, it was Carlos and Marta Muñoz. It was Pastor Carlos with the sons of, uh, they had three sons. Uh, uh, Carlos Jr., which was uh, known as Caco, uh, Juan Pablo, which is known as Juanpi, and Andres, which was a uh, uh, younger brother, their youngest. Um, and I tasted these for the very first time at their home, and I fell in love with them. And I love them. And it made me realize, because they were the family that, that introduced me to Latino. See, uh, if you spoke Spanish, I just either assumed you were from Spain or you were from Mexico. See, uh, I have some family from Spain and we have some family from Mexico. So I just assumed if you spoke Spanish, you were from one of those two countries. And everything from California all the way down to the tip of, 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 of Southern, South America, uh, they're probably Mexicans. See, I was a little kid. And... I learned when I was a little kid through that family that Mexicans are part of a bigger culture, a Latino culture, and they're Costa Ricanos. And Costa Ricanos, they introduced me to this. And it's, it's kind of Caribbean style, but they introduced me to this thing. And this, this fried plantain, which looks like that, and then you fry it. And normally they're not dark like that. They're, they, they come out better, you know. Uh, Marta Munoz, it, it, it looked beautiful the way when she made them. And they tasted good. So um, Paco and Andrea, we had you guys over and we didn't get to make this. I, I like it a little blackened. I, it, it gives it an extra taste. Oh my goodness. It is good. It just gives me chills. Whew. I'm gonna eat them all. You know what I'm saying? So, me and Axel here wanna say, if you haven't learned how to make fried plantains, man, learn how to make them. Learn how to make them because they're good. I will give some to him, but he's not supposed to ask stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, showed you a little bit of the video of uh, when I fried them a little bit. You know, uh, I'm an amateur, not really good at it, but I'm trying to perfect it a little bit better so I can be uh, uh, useful for my wife, you know, because uh, it shouldn't just be my wife cooking and, and doing everything in the house. Um, the husband needs to step it up, and this husband here uh, is trying to get his skills going, you know what I'm saying? So. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to enjoy those right now. Have fun, everybody.